Shanti. Welcome to the series of balancing and healing the chakras. Now, chakras is a Sanskrit term which means discs. The chakras are a part of energy body resides within the body. They are not visible, but they are felt and they have effects on human body, mind and spirit. So to, uh, from today onwards, we are starting a series to heal and balance seven chakras. These chakras are located along the spine. From the base of the spine up to the top of the uh, spine and the seventh chakra, which actually resides hovering over the head. It's not even in the body. So the healing and balancing of chakras means we channelize the energy in upward motion. Upward motion is, in other words, our liberation. So liberation of energy, channelizing the energy in the right path to grow towards the spirituality. So today we will mainly work on chakra number one, which is root chakra. Root chakra is how the roots of the trees are. It is situated on the very base of the spinal cord near the anus. And how a root system supports the tree exactly what it means to have a balanced root chakra. So when we talk about the root chakra, the Sanskrit name is Muladhar. Mul means uh, roots and adhar means support. It literally means the root support, the element of the nature which is related to this chakra is the earth. And we all know that how earth is very supporting to each and every object on the earth. It's solid, it's non-movable, unshakable. So support is supposed to be like that. And by having a balanced root chakra means a balanced energy, which is unshakable and non-movable. So we saw the location, we saw the element. And now each and every uh, Chakras have their uh, give a given num uh, color. So this one has a red color assigned to it. Each chakras are related to at least one or two hormonal glands in the body. And these chakras are mainly situated, the locations are situated where the nervous plexus are situated in the physical body. So, which also means that the nerve plexus, what is the function of the nerve plexus in the body? The chakras have having, having the same functions, taking care of all those things in the body and mind and spiritual level. So, each for each chakra, we will have the introduction and then, uh, certain basics of each chart. Then we will do the yoga asana and um, short meditation at the end. It will be a beautiful journey for each chakras. So let's see now the um, qualities of access of root chakra. What, when there is a, energy is in access in the chakra, 
what happens and when the uh, energy is less than what happens. So this means, uh, this is the foundation as we understood the meaning of it. It's the foundation of the entire chakra system. We cannot build a temple with proper foundation. So if the root chakra is balanced and steady and, and liberating the proper energy, then each chakra upward is going to build a pure temple of the spiritual body. So, to rise higher up, we will first go downwards because the roots are under the ground. So, these chakra system starts at the base of the spine, but what is under that? These are legs and feet. So, we have to strengthen the legs and feet. And excess qualities of these chakras are heaviness, hoarding, obesity, greed, and uh, workaholism. These are some of the examples. And when this uh, chakra has deficient energy, then we, we, we might feel fear, anxiety, underweight, vagueness rootlessness, inability to sit still because there is no support. The, uh, when it is not grounded, then the object will keep moving. It's very similar to that, um, that anal analogy. But when, what happens when the energy in this chakra is balanced? When the energy is balanced, one feels very well grounded. Physical health is at best. Being comfortable in one's body. It doesn't matter to them whether they are fat or thin. They're very comfortable in, that, in their body. Stability, solidity, right uh, livelihood, and then prosperity. They can be still they are steady, they are um, dependable, reliable, and present, very present, very much present in the moment. So these are this, these are some of the qualities of balanced root chakra. Now, what, which hormonal gland is associated with this? The hormonal glands attached with this is the adrenal glands because the adrenal glands are not uh, near the perineum, but the adrenal gland secretes the hormone. Uh, it's called um, adrenaline and cortisol. So root system, which means if there are no roots, no survival. So Having a proper root means better survival. So this is the one's right to survive and thrive. So this has the survival instinct. And when the survival is threatened, puts and that puts one in the fear and flight mode, which is what the adrenaline and cortisol hormone does in human body. So it's a constant, when root chakra is not balanced, it's a constant run, run, run. They don't have enough. And then, uh, so they keep working, 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 work workaholism, things like that. They, they think it's not enough, so they will keep hoarding. They are greedy. All of these characteristics goes with this fear and flight mode. Then, for this practice today, we will set the intention to get rid of any old memory or fear and be brave. So we come out of that and um, that will be the intention of today's practice. So I hope we will all be together for the journey of healing and balancing the chakra system, the whole seven chakras. 
So let's begin. Shanti. Welcome to the series of balancing and healing the chakras. Now, chakras is a Sanskrit term, which means discs. The chakras are a part of energy body resides within the body. They are not visible, but they are felt and they have effects on human body, mind and spirit. So to, uh, from today onwards, we are starting a series to heal and balance seven chakras. These chakras are located along the spine. From the base of the spine up to the top of the uh, spine and the seventh chakra, which actually resides hovering over the head. It's not even in the body. So the healing and balancing of chakras means we channelize the energy in upward motion. Upward motion is, in other words, our liberation. So liberation of energy, channelizing the energy in the right path to grow towards the spirituality. So today we will mainly work on chakra number one, which is root chakra. Root chakra is how the roots of the trees are. It is situated on the very base of the spinal cord near the anus. And how a root system supports the tree exactly what it means to have a balanced root chakra. So when we talk about the root chakra, the Sanskrit name is Muladhar. Mul means uh, roots and adhar means support. It literally means the root support, the element of the nature which is related to this chakra is the earth. And we all know that how earth is very supporting to each and every object on the earth. It's solid, it's non-movable, unshakable. So support is supposed to be like that. And by having a balanced root chakra means a balanced energy, which is unshakable and non-movable. So we saw the location, we saw the element. And now each and every, uh, Chakras have their uh, give a given num uh, color. So this one has a red color assigned to it. Each chakras are related to at least one or two hormonal glands in the body. And these chakras are mainly situated, the locations are situated where the nervous plexus are situated in the physical body. So, which also means that the nerve plexus, what is the function of the nerve plexus in the body? The chakras have having, having the same functions, taking care of all those things in the body and mind and spiritual level. So, each for each chakra, we will have the introduction and then... Uh, certain basics of each chart. Then we will do the yoga asana and um, short meditation at the end. It will be a beautiful journey for each chakras. So let's see now the um, 
qualities of excess of root chakra. What when there is a energy is in excess in the chakra, what happens? And when the uh, energy is less, then what happens? So this means uh, this is the foundation as we understood the meaning of it. It's the foundation of the entire chakra system. We cannot build a temple with proper foundation. So if the root chakra is balanced and steady and, and liberating the proper energy, then each chakra upward is going to build a pure temple of the spiritual body. So to rise higher up, we will first go downwards because the roots are under the ground. So these chakra system starts at the base of the spine, but what is under that is our legs and feet. So we have to strengthen the legs and feet. And excess qualities of these chakras are heaviness, hoarding, obesity, greed, and uh, workaholism. These are some of the examples. And when this uh, chakra has deficient energy, then we, we, we might feel fear, anxiety, underweight, vagueness, rootlessness, inability to sit still because there is no support. The, uh, when it is not grounded, then the object will keep moving. It's very similar to that, um, that an analogy. But when, what happens when the energy in this chakra is balanced? When the energy is balanced, one feels very well grounded. Physical health is at best. Being comfortable in one's body. It doesn't matter to them whether they are fat or thin. They're very comfortable in, that, in their body. Stability, solidity, right uh, livelihood, and then prosperity. They can be still they are steady, they are um, dependable, reliable, and present, very present, very much present in the moment. So these are this, these are some of the qualities of balanced root chakra. Now, what, which hormonal gland is associated with this? The hormonal glands attached with this is the adrenal glands because the adrenal glands are not uh, near the perineum, but the adrenal gland secretes the hormone. Uh, it's called um, adrenaline and cortisol. So root system, which means if there are no roots, no survival. So Having a proper root means better survival. So this is the one's right to survive and thrive. So this has the survival instinct. And when the survival is threatened, puts and that puts one in the fear and flight mode, which is what the adrenaline and cortisol hormone does in human body. So it's a constant, when root chakra is not balanced, it's a constant run, run, run. They don't have enough. And then, uh, so they keep working, 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 work workaholism, things like that. They, they think it's not enough, so they will keep hoarding. They are greedy. All of these characteristics goes with this fear and flight mode. Then, for this practice today, we will set the intention to get rid of any old memory or fear and be brave. So we come out of that and um, that will be the intention of today's practice. So I hope 
we will all be together for the journey of healing and balancing the chakra system, the whole seven chakras. So let's begin. Shanti, welcome to the series of balancing and healing the chakras. Now, chakras is a Sanskrit term which means discs. The chakras are a part of energy body resides within the body. They are not visible, but they are felt and they have effects on human body, mind and spirit. So to, uh, from today onwards, we are starting a series to heal and balance seven chakras. These chakras are located along the spine. From the base of the spine up to the top of the uh, spine and the seventh chakra, which actually resides hovering over the head. It's not even in the body. So the healing and balancing of chakras means we channelize the energy in upward motion. Upward motion is, in other words, our liberation. So liberation of energy, channelizing the energy in the right path to grow towards the spirituality. So today we will mainly work on chakra number one, which is root chakra. Root chakra is how the roots of the trees are. It is situated on the very base of the spinal cord near the anus. And how a root system supports the tree exactly what it means to have a balanced root chakra. So when we talk about the root chakra, the Sanskrit name is Muladhar. Mul means chuck, uh, roots and Adhar means support. It literally means the root support, the element of the nature which is related to this chakra is the earth. And we all know that how earth is very supporting to each and every object on the earth. It's solid, it's non-movable, unshakable. So support is supposed to be like that. And by having a balanced root chakra means a balanced energy, which is unshakable and non-movable. So we saw the location, we saw the element, and now each and every uh, chakras have their uh, give, a given num uh, color. So this one has a red color assigned to it. Each chakras are related to at least one or two hormonal glands in the body. And these chakras are mainly situated, the locations are situated where the nervous plexus are situated in the physical body. So which also means that the nerve plexus, what is the function of the nerve plexus in the body? The chakras have having, having the same functions, taking care of all those things in the body and mind and spiritual level. So each for each chakra, we will have the introduction and then uh, certain basics of each chart. Then we will do the yoga asana and um, short meditation at the end. 
it will be a beautiful journey for each chakras. So let's see now the um, qualities of excess of root chakra. What when there is a energy is in excess in the chakra, what happens? And when the uh, energy is less, then what happens? So this means uh, this is the foundation as we understood the meaning of it. It's the foundation of the entire chakra system. We cannot build a temple with proper foundation. So if the root chakra is balanced and steady and, and liberating the proper energy, then each chakra upward is going to build a pure temple of the spiritual body. So to rise higher up, we will first go downwards because the roots are under the ground. So these chakra system starts at the base of the spine, but what is under that is our legs and feet. So we have to strengthen the legs and feet. And excess qualities of these chakras are heaviness, hoarding, obesity, greed, and uh, workaholism. These are some of the examples. And when this uh, chakra has deficient energy, then we, we, we might feel fear, anxiety, underweight, vagueness, rootlessness, inability to sit still because there is no support. The, uh, when it is not grounded, then the object will keep moving. It's very similar to that. Um, that analogy but when what happens when the energy in this chakra is balanced when the energy is balanced one feels very well grounded physical health is at best being comfortable in one's body it doesn't matter to them whether they are fat or thin they're very comfortable in that in their body, stability, solidity, right uh, livelihood, and then prosperity. They can be still, they are steady, they are um, dependable, reliable, and present, very present, very much present in the moment. So these are this, these are some of the qualities of balanced root chakra. Now, what, which hormonal gland is associated with this? The hormonal glands attached with this is the adrenal glands because the adrenal glands are not uh, near the perineum, but the adrenal gland secretes the hormone. Uh, it's called um, adrenaline and cortisol. So, root system, which means if there are no roots, no survival. So having a proper root means better survival. So this is the one's right to survive and thrive. So this has the survival instinct. And when the survival is threatened, Puts, and that puts one in the fear and flight mode, which is what the adrenaline and cortisol hormone does in human body. So it's a constant, when root chakra is not balanced, it's a constant run, run, run. They don't have enough. And then, uh, so they keep working, 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 work workaholism, things like that. They think it's not enough, so they will keep hoarding. They are greedy. All of these characteristics goes with this fear and flight mode. Then for this practice today, we will set the intention to get rid of any old memory or fear 
and be brave. So we come out of that and um, that will be the intention of today's practice. So I hope we will all be together for the journey of healing and balancing the chakra system, the whole seven chakras. So let's begin. Circle sweep, inhale, both hands up. We raise both hands up for mountain pose, Tadasana. And exhale slowly, both hands down. So in this pose, if you want to feel very well grounded, there are four corners on the foot. Four corners, two in the front and two in the back. So we try to be in touch with all four points, lift the toes up, be grounded with the uh, points in the front and points in the back of, around the heel and then slowly release the toes. So we don't try to grab the floor with the toes, but very well footed with all four point connection. Inhale, both hands up again. And exhale, we see the difference, how we were standing before and now. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Next we'll practice is the forward bend. Inhale, both hands up. While exhaling, keeping the spinal cord straight, we hinge from the hip crease here. Circle sweep, fold halfway. Attaching both palms anywhere on the legs where it, they can touch. Spine straight, leg straight. Keep breathing and each exhalation, we slide hand further down. We, we are stretching the lowest foot, most end of the spinal cord where the root chakra is. The energy is getting activated. If it is possible, with the two peace fingers, hold on to both toes. Try to keep the leg straight if possible. If not, go ahead and feel free to bend the knees. It's completely okay. We are stretching the whole back of the legs. Very foundation of this body is getting stronger. Release the toes, <clears throat> and knee, and knee soft, slowly rise up. Circle sweep, mountain pose, and exhale, hands at heart. Beautiful. Next, we will do a flow of sun salutation. So we all come to the front of the mat. <clears throat> Circle sweep, inhale, both hands up. Same thing as we just did. Circle sweep, exhale, back, folding from hip crease, halfway fold. And slowly, knee soft, we try to reach all the way down. One by one, leg back, going into downward facing down. And let's pedal heels, bending other knee one at a time. Now stretching both heels at the same time, bringing chest close to thighs. Engage the core, pull the belly button mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. 
Keep breathing. Gaze in between the both in between both palms and step forward. Coming back to forward fold, circle sweep. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, fold. Step back. A tongue namaskar. For that, we bring knees on the floor, keeping the spine up. Chest on the mat, deep dive, whole body flat in touch with the arms and lift up into cobra. Gaze is straight ahead. Tuck toes, lift up. Downward facing dog. And walk or step forward all the way to the front. Circle sweep. Inhale, both hands up. And exhale, hands at heart. Long deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale down. After this, we will explore another very grounding and root chakra activating pose that is. Warrior two, Veer Bhagasan. Do. Inhale, both hands up. Circle, feet, exhale, fold. Both legs straight. From here, step back. Left leg and stand up. Left the right leg. Point to that front. Left leg toes pointing to this new front now. Hold on to the hips, move hips to this side. Bend that right knee, knee exactly on top of the heel. Extend both hands out to the side and gaze to that right hand fingers. Deep breaths in and out. Yes, stretching the inner thighs area. This is the warrior pose, which in a subtle way making us ready to fight in the adverse situation. If you're standing here with stillness, preparing yourself to face whatever will come in my way, I'm ready to face it. I'm well grounded and I am present in this moment. Solution, slowly bring hands down, both legs straight, and turn close of both feet to the front again. Inhale, circle sweep, both hands up, making the front torso bigger, stretch. And then folding forward from hip crease, straight spine, fold forward. Here we can use the blocks if you already have by your side. If not, just rest both hands on the legs wherever they can reach. We are trying to keep the spine straight, elbows and legs straight, gaze on the arms. Neck is neutral. Keep breathing, slow and steady, even breaths. Mm 
Knee soft circle sweep, slowly rise up, inhale. Upon exhalation, both hands wide. Simply turn the left foot toes to left side. Right leg stays same, bend left knee. We are doing warrior two pose on the other side. Our gaze is on left hand fingers. Slow and steady breaths in and out. I am well footed, well rooted into the earth through all four points of my feet. Relax, warrior. I'm a ready warrior. Pleasant expression on the face. Slowly exhale, bring both hands down, both legs straight, and slowly bring both <clears throat> feet together. Let's have a deep breath in, inhale, both hands up. Feel the feet well connected with the earth, exhale. Two more. Beautiful. The next pose in this series we will do is we come to the short end of the mat. Again, um, this is a uh, intermediate pose, but I will dive into the beginner's uh, modifications as well. So uh, listen for the uh, modifications. Inhale, both hands up. And exhale, folding from hip crease, fold forward. Knees up, reach all the way down. And one by one, step back, both legs, knees, Flat, slowly reach down all the way onto the mat. So the pose we are going to do is bow pose, Dhanurasana. Dhanurasana, I will first uh, guide with the modification. Whoever cannot fold legs and reach to the legs with both hands, We'll do this modification. So one by one leg, extend right hand in the front, fold the left leg and reach to left ankle. This is it. If this is only possible today, that's it. Don't worry. From here, try to lift the thigh up and chest up. And we practice this on both sides. Now let's do the actual pose. So go all the way down, fold both legs. Grab onto ankle or foot wherever. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And upon inhalation, Lift the chest and thighs up. And gaze is straight ahead. We are squeezing the root chakra here. And activating the energy in there. Whoever is doing the modification, please rotate to the other side. Keep breathing. Slowly release down. Legs straight. 
that we will rest in the constructive rest position. One palm down, top. Another palm on top of it and rest the forehead on it. Relax the whole body. Inhalation slowly reaching our way is easy to come up. We will come into the day step pose, the day dandasana. So, here we will we can make use of the props we collected here. Sitting straight with the spine straight again. Deep breath, extend each vertebrae and ground that bottommost point of the center of the tailbone of the spinal cord. Try to make back of the legs as much as grounded as possible. Toes pointing towards head and both hands on the side of the hips. in touch with the earth. What we are going to do is Janur Sirasana, seated forward fold. For that, we will practice one leg at a time. First, we will fold the left leg. Keep Right leg extended. Now, if, if depending upon how high the knee stays from the earth, we can use the prop. We can put and put the fold roll towel to fill the gap, or if it is very high, we can use a bolster. And also, we can make a use of the belt as well. So just keep the belt looped around the foot and leave it. Sit straight. Inhale, both hands up. While exhaling, pull the belly in, folding from hip crease. Fold straight forward. We're not rounding the back. And see where the hand falls. Just touch that point of the leg. Keeping gaze about a foot away from the toes. That will help keep our head high. Breathe into the back of the lungs and exhale, pressing belly in. And that should help us fold just a little bit more. If we feel we need the belt, just grab the ends of the belt, keep it tight. This way we are also, we can rub the belt in the foot, extra push to root chakra energy. Breathing. And keep folding more if possible. We are stretching the back of the thighs, the hamstrings. They are often related with the fear, fight, and flight mode. So we are releasing those muscles. Slowly inhale, very slowly come up to the straight neutral position. Beautiful. Now we will change legs. 
feel free to replace all the props for this date now. This straight. Let us first have this foot, this leg, well grounded. The whole back of the leg should be grounded as much as possible. Toes pointed towards head. And circle seat, inhale, both hands up. Pull the belly button in. Exhale, fold from hip crease. Gaze a foot away beyond the toes. Keep the head high. This is also called Mahamudra in the spirituality and yogic philosophy. This is the best pose, or we call it uh, Mahamudra, to activate the energy throughout the spine with different bandhas and locks or locks of the body. Grab the belt if you have, rub it. Happy, well grounded, root chakra. Stay steady, each exhale, fold. Slow inhale, rise up, back to normal. We can sit in Sukhasana. We will uh, explore a um, mudra, which is not done by hand. Mudras usually uh, done by hands, but this one is something different. And the, it is called Ashwini Mudra. We all know uh, where the root chakra is located. It's around the anal and perineal area, very base of the spinal cord, just below that. So let us try to contract that area, not the front, but the back. Keep it that way for a few breaths. Release. We'll do it one more time. Inhale and contact the anal area. And keep breathing. It, the breathing would be just a chest breathing. Very good. The next is these are the few poses in which, if um, we can sit back and reflect for a few moments, the deep breath in and out. The poses I did in this practice today. <clears throat> Stretch the lower back, the bottom of the spinal cord. Stretch the muscles of my legs and feet. And also strengthen them. physical body is getting ready. My root chakra is getting stronger and stronger. I feel the support of the earth beneath my feet. That was mainly the physical body. 
Now we will work for the mental, mental body, mental support, mental uh, activation of root chakra. So for that, we will do uh, a few pranayama practice. Number one is alternate nostril breath, anulom bilom, Sanskrit name is that. So doing the pranayama, we sit well grounded. If you are sitting on the chair, both, put both feet well grounded on the earth. Spinal cord straight, neck is neutral, and the face is pleasant. All the muscles of the face relaxed. We will use the right hand. We will not use the peace fingers, so either we can keep them straight in touch with the center of the forehead, or if we are able to bend, we will bend. This is the idea. Close the right nostril with the right thumb. Inhale in through left nostril first. Hold for a second or two and exhale out through right. Inhale in through right. Exhale out to left. This was one repetition. We will do four more like this. And we change your nostril when you are ready to exhale. That is the simple key to remember this sequence. Inhale in to left first. Hold the breath for a moment or two and then exhale. Last one. Let's the hand down. Let us do one three part breath as we did in the beginning. Inhale in through the nose. Feel air going in, passing through the chest. Then flooding the belly. And press the belly in to exhale. Feel warm air going out through the nose. The next breathing is it's a cooling breath and it's called. Shitali Pranayama. Shitali literally means cool, cool. Uh, and this brings cooling physically and mentally. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system and that brings down the fear, uh, fight and flight mode if, when we are anxious about anything or when we are restless. So to do this pranayama, let me come a little bit closer. We roll the tongue inward. Just keep it that way. Breathe in through mouth. The air should pass through that hole. In 
in the thumb, close the mouth, exhale out through nose. So we will practice this for five times. Let us roll the tongue. If you cannot roll the tongue, simply just keep breathing that three part breath. That's perfectly fine. experience be in the appeal of whatever is happening at this moment. The next one is the meditation. We can, um, we can do all of our fingers are associated with one of the element of the nature. The ring finger is for earth, Prithvi. So let us touch the fire element and the earth element together. We will see it with this mudra for next few, uh, just one or two breaths and then we will change it. Meditation, we will do, we can do in two positions. Whoever cannot sit on the floor, I recommend they lay down, lay down flat as if we lay down in Savasana. Whoever can sit on the floor, sit on the floor, ground the base of the spine well with both palms, palms flat on the ground. Whoever is laying completely flat on the mat, relax both feet and try to make back of the whole body be in touch with the earth as much as possible spread both legs and let them go loose back of the heels calves and thighs are grounded Hips are grounded. If the lower back is hanging, feel free to place a rolled towel under the lower back so that back is also well grounded. Shoulder blades apart. Palms facing up to the sky, back of the palms. Be in touch with the earth. 
across the forearms, arms, are grounded, shoulders relaxed. Feet separated. Let the tongue go back to the throat. And keep of the tongue loosely attached to the roof of the mouth. Feel heaviness in the earlobes. Forehead relaxed, temples relaxed. Let the breathe happen naturally. And let the thoughts come and go without attaching to it. Letting go to the gravity and feel this unshakable support of Mother Earth. Let go as if we are in the lap of a mother, not as if we are laying down. There are no conscious efforts at this point. I'm well supported. Feel each part touching through the arms in part of my body, touching through the earth. It's growing the roots. These roots are spreading deep down into the earth. These roots are mingled with other roots to, to form the clusters. Imagine the activity under the earth, under the body. Like a hot, heavy liquid is moving around under the surface of my body, under the earth. I feel the heat. This red, heavy liquid has a color of red. This enters into my body from the root chakra. From this point, this heavy red liquid is spreading upward all over in my body.
feel the energy of this red liquid. I feel the power. I feel the Shakti. Under the surface of my body, my roots are well grown. I feel steady, unshakable, well grounded, well founded. And above the surface, I feel the energy of that red. Power and strength I need to exist in this moment. To be pleasant, to be calm. Enjoying this well grounded moment on this yoga mat. This feeling of security. is going deep down in my being. Slowly, I'm coming back into the awareness, moving my small joints of the body, toes and fingers, Eyes closed, I turn on my right side in a fetal pose. Support head with arm. I have the sense of security, stability, grounding and support. My body is healed. And I'm ready to build other floors on the strong foundation. Slowly open eyes and come to easy seated pose. I 
I took care of myself in my body. I created well-groundedness on the mat and I'm ready to take this experience off the mat in my real life situations. We will end the practice today with the chant of Root Chakra, the, the seed mantra of this chakra is Lam. It's L-U-M. So let's chant the mantra together. Sitting erect, deep inhaling. Lam. 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 Lam.